days, I'm the Burke and I do things. And I think March was the longest month of my life. So I'm glad to see it go. I'm ready for some April, some spring, some summer. Let's get on with this. But for right now, I have some of my favorites that I've been enjoying in March. I feel like I normally will like go back and forth between like makeup and like more lifestyle stuff. However, this time I'm going to do all the makeup up front and then the rest of the stuff at the end. Let me know if you prefer that style or if you don't really care. I don't have any huge fails this month, unlike last month, so I don't really have any fails to share with you guys. Just good stuff. So if you want to see my favorites from this month, then keep on watching. Let's go. All right, let's do lip product. I do have one lip product this month. This is the Persona Liquid Lipstick. The shade is called OG. I really enjoy this formula. It smells so good. This actually is a hot buy in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, so I actually grabbed another shade. I've really been enjoying this lipstick. I have one makeup brush. So I really liked the Farrah brush set that came in this month's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, but specifically this brush has been my favorite of the set. This is the th number three mini tapered blending brush. This brush has been so good for like little stuff out here. I don't know. This out of all of them has been my absolute favorite brush for sure. I have two highlighters. The first one actually made it into my favorite drugstore highlighters. This is the Milani Afterglow Strobe Light Highlighter. I have been genuinely enjoying this one as well. And there is that shade right there. It's so pretty. And then the other highlighter is the add-on I did for this month's Ipsy bag. And this is the Ofra Star Island highlighter. I feel like I have Ofra highlighters in every freaking month's favorites, but I just keep finding more that I like. And it is that extremely blingy shade on. It's actually what I'm wearing today. So good, I love it. I did film a Shop Miss A video this month and I did like a lot of the products I found in that video. However, there's one thing out of all the stuff that I've been reaching for nonstop since, and it is dirty, so do not judge. But it is the Shop Miss A Pink Little Beauty Sponge. It is definitely a little bigger, and I think it absorbs a little bit more product than the Beauty Blender. However, it is such a similar texture when I blend everything out that I've been reaching for this constantly, and it's only $1.55 on the website, so... That is awesome. Then I have two mascaras, which if you don't know, is very rare on this channel. The only favorite mascara I have ever included in a favorites video since my channel started is the Benefit Roller Lash. That is how picky I am about mascara. But I have two pixie mascaras to talk about this month. The first came in the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and this is the Lash Lift Mascara. It is what is on my upper lashes today. So first you go in with the large spiky wand, and then you go in with the little baby wand, and the result is this. It's been great. No flaking, no smudging, no nothing. And it lasts. And on the lower lash line, I've been enjoying their lower lash mascara, and it is super, super fine, and it's just been awesome. It is what is on my lower lashes today and I'm great at explaining things. Okay, so those were my makeup favorites of the month. Let's go on to non-makeup favorites. The first is the Litter Robot. If you haven't seen that video yet, it has been life-changing for Scott and I. Oh my goodness. But now I have pants. I have a few pairs of pants that I've been really enjoying and I wanted to share it with you. The first is from Costco. <laughs> So these are the brand Jockey, and they're these like little jogger sweatpants. I actually have them in gray. The gray ones are in the dryer right now. So I got the gray ones, and I love them and couldn't stop wearing them. And next time we went to Costco, I wound up getting the same pair in black because they're so comfy. They're like super lightweight, but when I wear them, I feel like I can like go out to a restaurant in sweatpants and still look nice because they're like so comfy and perfect. So yeah, the Jockey sweatpants at Costco. I also have another pair of Costco pants because <laughs> that's my life now. And it is these Adidas, these Adidas leggings. The material of them is like so comfy, like the comfiest thing ever. And in both of these, I did purchase a size medium and they are the greatest. So 
Costco pants are winning for me this month. And then I have, this is just an example of one of these pairs of pants. But I recently found a sale at Fabletics, which is Kate Hudson's like workout clothes subscription service, which is kind of expensive, but there was a sale last month, I guess, where it was like, the pants were all like $12. And I mean, these were normally marked for like 70, but ever since I tried Fabletic pants on ThreadUp, I've been like dying to find more because these are the most comfortable things in existence essentially. And so what happened was I went on and I ordered four pairs of pants, but when you like make an, a purchase during one of their sales, it automatically signs you up for a, a membership, meaning like you get a workout outfit every month or something. I forget how it works, but that wasn't something I wanted to do. So my plan was to get these in the mail and immediately cancel before I got charged for like a membership fee. So I got them and they're great. They're so, <laughs> they're so good. Like I can't explain to you how much I love these. And I just have, I mean, I just have like six black pairs of Fabletic leggings. They're all like a little different, but they're all like little things, they're all black, but they're different even though they're the same. Anyway, so it's kind of annoying canceling. I will say that that will be my biggest criticism of this service is for anyone who has any subscription service, you can usually go just like into your account and cancel, but for some reason with this, you have to call a phone number, which is fine, whatever. I call a phone number and you like talk to a robot and I just like kept saying, clicking the cancel subscription, which forwarded me to a human who kept saying, trying to like offer me better deals to keep my service and I just kept saying, no, just cancel, just cancel. So that was really annoying that they just kept trying to like get me to keep my service instead of just letting me cancel. That being said, I didn't get charged a membership fee, I canceled, and now I have really great pants. So the point of the story was, if you ever see the sales for the pants, they are really good quality and you can cancel your membership before they start charging you. That was the end of that story. Next I have a moisturizer. I think this came in one of the Walmart Best of Beauty boxes. And this is the Jurgens Wet Skin Moisturizer. This stuff is amazing. This is with refreshing coconut oil. So I basically take my shower, turn off the shower, squirt this in my hand, moisturize, and then squeegee my shower while it soaks in. Let me tell you something, really funny story. Anytime Scott and I shower, Luigi waits for us to finish showering because his favorite thing in the world is watching the squeegee, squeegee the shower glass. He's obsessed with it, it's the funniest thing ever. He's actually passed out behind me on the floor right here, but He's obsessed with the squeegee. So weird, but yeah. As I squeegee, I let this soak in before I get out of the shower, and it is fantastic. I have one last favorite this month, and if you had to guess what that was, what would you think it would be? If you guessed headbands, you'd be correct. I actually have this little like thing that I got in the dollar spot a while ago from Target that was like a desk organizer, but right now, I just have it filled with various headbands because who can have enough headbands? Apparently not me, but yes, headbands have been my thing. And yeah, those have been my March favorites. Let me know. Do you guys like any of these things? What were you loving this month? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.